Hi, it's Catherine. I wanted to give you a tip about using codon charts and to uh, have an example for us. We're going to talk about polydactyl cats. Poly means mini and dactyl means finger. So polydactyl cats have extra fingers. This one has six toes on the back foot when there's usually just four. And this kitty has a thumb right here. Um, you can see it sticking off its hand on that bedspread. So it's got an extra finger. And there's like several different sets of extra fingers that cats can have. But what's cool is it's a hereditary condition and it's coded for an autosomal dominant trait. And we're gonna learn what both those mean shortly. But what we wanna talk about is how we're gonna figure out what amino acids are coded for with the DNA in the gene that this trait is associated with. Moving to the next slide. Okay, so here's our practice problem. Polydactyly is associated with the ZRS gene. So I've already got a couple pieces of information. Part of the ZRS gene sequence is as follows. CCC, GGG, TCA, ATT. And then the question that we're gonna try and answer, which should feel familiar from your quizzes and your homework is, what is the amino acid sequence coded for above? So there's two steps we're gonna do here. First, because this is a gene, it's gonna be made of DNA. So DNA is in our genes. So forgive my handwriting, I'm using my mouse. And to figure out what kind of amino acids we're gonna make from this DNA, we first have to make it into RNA. So the first step is we're going to transcribe into RNA. In A. So if the gene has this sequence, I know that this is in DNA and I wanna transcribe it to RNA and then I'm gonna use my codon charts. I also have a different hint here that this is DNA and I can tell it's DNA because it includes the T. So only DNA has T, RNA is gonna use U. So I'm gonna transcribe this into RNA. So what pairs with C, G, G, G. What pairs with G, it's gonna be C, C, C. What pairs with T, that's gonna be A, and then G, and then here's where it gets tricky. So if it was DNA, I would put a T here because A and T pair together, but it's not, it's RNA, and so I'm gonna put a U. So next one is U and then A, A. So this is my DNA sequence here, DNA, and I just transcribe it to RNA. Cool. So now that I have the RNA from the DNA that was my gene related to polydactyly, I can use this codon chart over here on the right to figure out the amino acid sequence. We have two main types of codon charts. We have the square one and we have the round one. I'm gonna show you both. So the first thing we do is we go right to the center of this bullseye area and you find the first uh, nucleic acid that you're looking for. So it's gonna be a G. So G, then you look for the second one, G, and then you're going out in your radius. And your third one is G. So the amino acid that we coded for with our first codon is glycine. So I'm gonna put glycine below it and we use a different color so we can see them. And I'm gonna use blue. So GGG codes for glycine. I'm gonna do the same thing with this codon, these three letters. Start at the inner circle, C. Then I'm gonna to go to the next ring, C. Then I'm gonna to go to the last one, C. So my second codon is coding for proline. So pro, I'm gonna give you a second. You're gonna do the third one here in your head and I'm gonna do it silently with you. So going from the inside out, and hopefully you got serine. So our third is S-E-R, and I'm just abbreviating them so I don't have to use my handwriting the whole time. 
And then the last one. All right. Our last one's actually a stop codon, which is great because that's going to end our protein. The little ribosome will let go of the mRNA and the protein can fold up and it can be made into extra toe tissue for your cat. So our last codon here coded for stop. By the way, there are three stop codons, UAA, UGA, and UAG. Perfect. Let's practice it again with the other type of table. Here we are. There we go. So there's our second table. I'm going to go back to my drawing. So instead of starting in the center and moving out along the wheel, now we're going to look at the uh, labels on the sides. So we have first letter, second letter, and third letter. So we have the same amino acid sequence, sorry, the same codons, which are going to give us amino acids. So we already know the answer, but let's pretend we don't because we're using a different type of table. So the first letter is going to be C. So we're going to get in this column here for our Cs. Second letter is also a C. So we're going to look here, which means that we're going to be looking in this one square for our answer. And then our third letter C is going to be this one. So our answer is going to be proline. Let me clear all that and we'll do it again for the second one. All right, so G, 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 first letter is G. So it's gonna be in this row. We're gonna go up to the second letter is G. So it's gonna be in this column. So this row, this column, which means we're gonna be looking in this box here. You can kind of do a shortcut here. We are like, oh, everything in this box is telling me it's GLY. Great, that's, that's nice. But you might notice that some of these have a divide. And so there's two different amino acids coded for inside this box. So you do have to look at that third nucleotide and make sure that you're getting the right one. So GGG codes for GLY. That's gonna be our second one. All right, our third amino acid, first letter is a T, but we have to transcribe it to RNA, which means that it would be a, an A, and then G, and then U, lovely. So first letter is A, we're gonna be in this column, and then G, so we're gonna be looking in this box, and then U. So Sarah, and our last one will be U, A, A, which is one of our three stop codons, so we can always double check that, U, A, so we're gonna be in this box, A, that's gonna be stop. All right. I hope seeing it and drawing on it helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Please give me an email.